Welcome to the basics of Register 360, part two. In this installment, we're gonna cover importing RTC 360 data. To import my data, I'm simply gonna drag my folder up to the drag files here box and drop it in there. As I do that, you'll see my data all comes in and the stations are all spaced with yellow dotted lines in between them. The reason for this is I didn't use a tablet out in the field to link them live while I was going. However, due to the viz, the RTC360 still stores the scanner locations, and as soon as you drag and drop the folder and the stations start to come in, the links will automatically be generated by the software. Now, before we actually start the import process, I want to talk a little bit about the imagery that's built into the software and how you can create a site map using that imagery and the GPS that's built into the RTC360. So, in order to bring in the imagery, we simply just come up to the top and select on Show Geo Image Bar. Once it does this, it's automatically going to use the GPS that's inside of the RTC360 to find the location and the imagery and zoom to that area. Then I simply select Get Image. Then come back to the top and click Place by Geo Coordinates. Once I get everything in place, I might need to tweak it a little bit, move it just slightly or rotate it slightly. In order to do that, just hover over one of the setups, hold down the shift button, and you can rotate the data into place and then grab one of the setups and move to where it needs to be. Once you get it close, now we can go ahead and start the import process. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off auto black and white targets because we're gonna go over that in a future video showing you guys how to um, extract targets from the data. We're going to go ahead and leave Auto Cloud uh, selected here, and then all we need to do is just simply select Import. Okay. So we imported six setups and the software generated a total of five links. So we can just click OK here. Now we're going to cover a few more things before we end this session and then we'll pick back up where I leave off. Uh, first is over here in the right side of our properties box. Currently you're going to see two different icons up here. One is for the advanced mode and the other one is to turn the advanced mode off. So um, you can switch back and forth between those two. And again, personal preference. Second is when the bundle is selected as it is currently right now, when I come down to the bottom, you'll see I have three options, Sitemap, Bundle Cloud, and True Slicer. But if I select the link, it'll add a link cloud to those options. Or if I select a setup, it'll add a setup cloud to those options. So depending on what you have selected will ultimately depend on what shows up here down at the bottom. So if we minimize the link and just select our setups. The last thing we're gonna do is just rename the scans. So if you remember from uh, a session earlier on about Cyclone, we renamed setups, same thing here. You just select all the setups, right click, select rename setups, and then I can come into here and say I wanted to just name it 04232020. Oops, didn't mean to have that slice in there. 2020, and we'll just say dash scan, and let's say I wanted to add a little bit of padding to that. So now you can see that my setup is going to be the date with scan, not SAN, and 001. Now you can see that all of our scans have been renamed. That's it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next session.